Okay, Michael Kenny here with California Wilderness. Today, working on one of my arrows. You know, there's some significant differences between this arrow and the last arrow I just showed you I made. I skipped through some of the process, like cutting it off, putting the foot shoes on, putting the head on. I just showed them in my last video. The reason why is there's only one big difference that I need to show how to make in this video compared to the last one. And sorry for the noise. I'm watching the three year old also right now, cousin Eric is playing a game right now, so get back to you in just a sec. Okay, one quick note I want to make about this arrow is you'll notice the fletchings are a lot shorter. That's because this is going to be a fishing arrow and I do not care about long range accuracy because both fishing and gigging is done usually really close so you're worried more about speed. Also I know about the arrowhead. I know this is not traditionally a good uh, gigging arrowhead. I kind of just stopped the idea one day at my, uh, my shop myself. made two different ones. One where the barbs were on the straight side and then this one where the barbs are on the curved side. I lost the other arrowhead somewhere and I'm not sure where it was. I never got that put on the shaft. I think it's packed away with my gear somewhere. You know, somewhere in my closet. So, which is now packed away for moving. So, put this one on. I went really heavy on the half team because I want this to be held strong because it's a bit of a long arrowhead. But sharp on the straight edge on this back end. It's got little barbs to kind of cut into, and it's got this major barb to where it can't just get pulled out of the fish as easy. So I'm gonna try that out, but what I'm gonna show you how to do is how to attach the line, the swivel attach that runs all the way down the length of the arrow to behind the fletchings, which is also another reason why fletchings are another like, quarter inch forward more than they should be. That's why, so I'll get back to you with that. Okay, in order to make this arrow retrievable for um, bow fishing with it. What you need to do is you need to attach a line. I'm just going to use an inner strand of paracord. Attach a line that travels the entire length of the arrow to just behind the fletchings. So when you actually, and on this line will be a snap swivel that you'll snap your main line to. So when you pull the arrow back, it'll slide up to the front. And then when you shoot it, the snap will snap will go all the way to the back and just pull the line out, not affecting the arrows quite too much, if really at all. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take advantage that there's a little gap in between the line up here on the arrowhead. I'm just gonna slide this inner strand of 550 cord. I can get a hold of it. Slide in that little gap right there. Feed it through. Try a simple but yet strong. Not a bit of pain right now. I'll just set this down. Just just the camera angle so you guys can look at this. So I'll thread it through and tie a simple knot. That's not a square.
I'm gonna make sure this is nice and strong now too. Okay. I'll leave that tag, we'll trim that later. Now the rest of this, try to keep this in the camera. It's gonna slide all the way down. It's gonna look like that when we're done with the snap swivel on there. So let me pop on the snap swivel real quick. Okay. Zoom out here. Let me slide the snap swivel on the other end. Okay, so that will be traveling up and down there. I'm going to take it on the other end. It's going to be the tricky spot. That would be a good way to do this. Okay, I got an idea. Sorry. I'm going to take this and make it fit a little better. I'm going to take a knife and make a small groove all the way around the arrow to line the rest in Okay, once you tied a couple knots, make sure it's all good and secure. Add a couple more just in case. And all you have left is trim the tags afterwards. getting tied. What happens now we have this line with the snap so we'll, it's like it's a zip line for the snap so we go all the way. So here, let me it's pretty much when I pull back the chute the snap so right here slide all the way to the front. 
shooting like this. Okay? So the snap will be all the way at the front, dang on there. And then as I shoot, now it'll get pulled all the way to the back, where it'll hang right by the knock, holding the main fishing line, pulling the line out. And then after you shoot it, you can retrieve your arrow, pull it back in, and uh, shoot again. See how it goes. So this has been. Oh wait, hang on. Almost forgot to trim up our tags. that tag and trim up the other one. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is oh, there it is. Right here on these knots, just gonna give it a tab. Glue. Just to make sure that the, that, that knot right there is seated in real well. Don't want the snap so it'll touch the glue yet though because it's still wet. I go to the other end. Do the same thing on this knot. Take the glue. Just a touch. There you go. Alright. And that is how to set up your arrow for uh, bow fishing. Play it around while I get around to it. I'll show you how to make. Later on, I'll show you how to make a um, bow fishing reel and attach to your bow. Like, if you have a bow like mine that has no hole drilled in for the uh, bow fishing reel, how to not really drill a hole in and do all that stuff, but how to make like a type of clamp. Clamp your, uh, to clamp your bow fishing set onto there. So, this is Michael Kenny of California Wilderness. Just showing you how to make a simple bow fishing arrow. Have a nice day, YouTube.